Hello, I'm joined by Ivan T, the Chief Executive Officer of FusionX, who's here to give us an overview of the company and tell us a bit more about some of the detail too. Ivan, welcome. Thanks for having me. Not at all. And could you just start by giving us an overview of what it is FusionX does? Now, FusionX is an organization that is uh, multi-award winning, and uh, we're a company that specializes in business intelligence, analytics, and big data. So we help customers um, connect to a multitude of data sources, and more importantly, help them find insights and derive value from the data. That's what we do. I see. And how do you see the, you know, the big data landscape? Obviously, it's a bit of a buzzword and has been for a couple of years. What are the particular opportunities for you? It's really an exciting time for us. Um, we see big data and many of the other technologies um, going through a convergence. So what we see is a lot of uh, disruptive technology, and we think a lot of this technology is coming to the forefront. Uh, we talk to many senior executives, uh, CEOs, CFOs, CIOs in, um, in numerous organizations, and they share with us that they really want to embrace some of this technology. They're either thinking about it. Some of them have already started on the journey. So we think it's an exciting time for us. Uh, we think there's uh, a lot of opportunities in the market, and we hope to be there with some of these customers who are forward-thinking, um, to move this ahead and to help them deliver success stories. Is there a typical uh, FusionX customer? Well, that's an interesting question. We, we don't really have a one-size-fits-all situation. Uh, we also don't define and classify our customers by shapes or sizes. Uh, what that really means, it doesn't matter how big the initiative is. Um, for us, big data is not just about the sheer size. It's more importantly that we find you know, the sheer value behind it, how we help them find insights, so our customers really range from uh, Fortune 100, Fortune 500, Fortune 1000, FTSE 100, FTSE 250 customers, um, and also very, very large Asian conglomerates. But at the same time, we deal with small and medium enterprises, um, smaller or mid-sized organizations. Uh, we have customers that range from some of the top hotels and resorts in the world. Uh, we have customers that are some of the leading manufacturers in the world. We have customers that are you know, some of the best financial services, banks, insurance companies in the world. And we also have very reputable customers in the logistics sector, um, you know, uh, whether it's, uh, it's a natural resource company, whether it's a transportation company. So we really have a wide range of customers in the private sector. And we also have customers in the public sector where we're helping um, numerous governments in and across the region of Asia Pacific and, uh, and many of these countries really help them work on initiatives such as smart nation, um, such as smart cities, such as a smarter economy to really bring the digital economy and the data driven world to its forefront. So it's really an exciting time for us and we help them, you know, really take a look at how we can actually help them in smarter transportation and, and really do a lot of things um, in this very exciting space in, in big data analytics. You've done a lot of work with Intel as well. Uh, can you explain to us exactly what that has been and, and what the output has been? Sure. Intel is a great partner and Intel is one of those organizations that, that's always at the cutting edge in terms of technology. So um, as we know, they are the largest chip manufacturer in the world and one of the most sophisticated plants and one of the most complex um, operations in terms of manufacturing. Um, so when we first spoke to Intel, they talked to us and they said that, you know what, we never want to rest on our laurels. You know, we are state of the art, but at the same time, we want to push the envelope. We want to do things that's much better. So the key use case was, was um, centered around how could Intel leverage on big data analytics from FusionX um, using technologies that are beyond M2M, machine to machine. They want to move beyond that to go to the Internet of Things, where um, instead of having machines talking to machines, they wanted to find actionable insights. They wanted to find uh, prescriptive and recommendations in terms of what they could do um, to make their businesses better. In other words, what they wanted to do is to be able to predict uh, unwanted and undesired downtime. Because as in any manufacturing company and organization, it's, uh, it's very painful, very costly, and very chaotic when unexpected downtime takes place. But if we could use big data analytics, there's a lot of historical data that actually runs through their systems, right? So there's a lot of data being churned in terms of uh, utilization, in terms of temperature, in terms of humidity, yield, and so on and so forth. You could then use that descriptive analytics to help to do diagnostic analytics, which is to understand why certain things happen based on certain symptoms. And then you can use predictive analytics to predict what might happen um, in the event of a downtime. 
and then when you when you could predict what could happen, then you could prescribe what you what you would want to do to avoid that situation from happening. So that whole spectrum of things was what Intel was looking for, and we're very pleased to be working with them in partnership. Um, you know, we've worked with them and and helped them uh, derive true value out of it to predict unnecessary and painful downtime and to be able to do things in a preemptive way rather than a reactive way. So we were pleased with the partnership and we look forward to more success stories with them and also with many organizations in and across the world. You obviously are selling to companies all across the world. Is there any particular area of focus in the next year or so? We focus on three main regions, namely the United States, um, Europe as well as Asia Pacific. Um, in the United States and Europe, we are seeing steady growth, we are seeing huge demand and we have always been seeing a very consistent growth in these uh, mature regions. Um, in the Asia Pacific, we are seeing tremendous and really exciting growth um, and Asia Pacific contributes to uh, a large chunk of our revenue, in fact the bulk of our revenue. But we do have consistent growth in, in all three regions and uh, we're looking forward to seeing exciting growth in, in all three regions with Asia Pacific continuing to be a key focus area. And how's Giant going and what's the opportunity there? We launched Giant about um, just about a year ago and we've seen tremendous traction. We've seen tremendous take up from our customers, existing and new customers. So we're really seeing uh, great traction and momentum. You know, we've secured customer wins in, uh, in, in many sectors, in the travel and hospitality, in the insurance space. We're we seeing huge retail customers, hypermarkets, supermarkets using our product giant to be able to analyze their data, to be able to crunch that and find insights in a more humanized way. So we're seeing significant traction and uh, we think we're, we're in a very exciting space. Excellent. And would, do you have any specific advice for any other companies that might be in the big data world? Yes, uh, we speak to many CEOs and key decision makers and uh, you know, many of the, the companies that we talk to have brilliant ideas. They have a vision and they obviously don't want to you know, sit back, lay back and rest on their laurels. Um, they want to find innovative ways to really improve their businesses, to improve their revenue, to, in, you know, to, to, to make um, their TCO lower and there's a lot of initiatives that they're looking at. So, but, but sometimes there is a dilemma in terms of um, is there a sufficient skill set? Um, is there a risk if we embark on a journey like big data analytics? Mm -hmm. um, is there a technological risk? Perhaps you know, people might not be familiar with all this technology and so on and so forth. So our advice or rather our recommendation to, to any organization out there is that you know, we are happy to look at any form of partnership and we think that it's best not to wait for too long because um, the more we wait, the competition starts to creep in and you don't want to be lagging behind your competition. So we think that starting small but thinking big and scaling fast would be a, a very good approach that you know, many organizations could consider um, because it's quite impossible to identify all of the use cases in all of the organizations. Mm. Many organizations have a certain idea in terms of what they're looking for, in terms of the problem statement, in terms of what they want to achieve. But it's also a discovery process and more a journey in terms of big data analytics, in terms of Internet of Things. And the same applies to many of the other things that we, we have in this world. So we think that embarking on that journey sooner rather than later would help the companies that are forward thinking to derive true value and uh, you know, a lot of insights. And we think they will uh, gain a lot of competitive edge um, you know, by starting small, again, thinking big and scaling fast. And we look forward to working with them to deliver success stories. Before you go, I should congratulate you on two recent awards you've received. Uh, perhaps you can tell us a bit about those. Thank you very much for that, for the kind words. Um, so the, um, the Asia Entrepreneur Award and the uh, Ernst & Young's EY Award was, um, was a tremendous recognition and I'm certainly very humbled to receive those awards. But more importantly for me, it's not about individual recognition, it's more about the recognition and endorsement and the thumbs up uh, from the industry and, and this reputable organizations um, and also these reputable awards. More for our team that have put in a lot of hard work, uh, more, more about endorsement for the talent, the capabilities that they put in, without which we wouldn't be here today. Um, so I'm very grateful and very humbled to receive such awards and I'm, I'm really looking forward to see how we can continue on those efforts um, to build world-class leading edge products so that we can help our customers, um, so that we can help organizations and also reward our team and also our shareholders who have been extremely supportive. So that's what matters most to me. Great. Thank you very much and all the best for the future. Thank you. If you'd like any more information about FusionX, please visit the Edison website.